G'day there. You're watching the Aussie BIM Guru. It's been a little while since I've said that, um, but I guess uh, I've got a channel update. I am coming back in 2023. Um, so hopefully a couple of you uh, missed the videos um, because I'm excited to come back. So a quick channel update just to talk about sort of why I've come back to YouTube and what I've been up to in the meantime. Uh, some topics that I'm covering in future videos and my format and also when I plan to return in 2023 as well. So first of all, why am I coming back? I'll keep it quick. Um, simply put, I've missed uh, this medium, this format and engaging with this audience and also just having the ability to put uh, topics out there that I'm within my means to. Um, I obviously work for a company, so I am mindful of the nature of what is suitable to put out in the public domain, but luckily there's still a lot of generic content that is pretty evergreen and able to be distributed. Um, but my break has also allowed me to recuperate mentally, socially, personally, maybe not physically. Um, but I have uh, been able to also focus on my career and develop some skills that I'm comfortable in sharing the results of with more people. Um, now that I am more experienced in these areas, um, I've learned a lot of new things and there's a lot of new interests I've picked up as well. It's also helped me just streamline my YouTube production process. I've simplified it a lot uh, just to make it a timely process for me to engage in. Some quick updates, personally, um, I have actually moved states um, to Adelaide in South Australia. Um, so originally I lived in Sydney for about eight years and uh, that was uh, where, I, where I moved from originally, where I grew up. Um, I've decided to move back mainly for lifestyle and ease of living, um, but I, I've got to say I really did enjoy my time in Sydney and I'm sure um, I'll be jetting back from time to time um, and I'll definitely miss a lot of things there. Um, but I guess I have moved into a nice three bedroom house. If anyone knows, I've got two cats and they're definitely enjoying running around the corridors all night, um, keeping us up. Um, there is a, a new user group I can engage with, a BIM focused user group, um, currently called BIM SA, I believe, rebranding to Build SA, um, if I remember right, or Digital Build SA. Um, there are some, some new plans I'm building as well for a digital user group that focuses itself around computation. Um, so if you are in Adelaide, do reach out to me if you're interested in being involved. It's still in the planning phase right now. Uh, my consulting avenue, BIM Guru, is currently switching to a more passive income based format using my content play, uh, based platform uh, to generate sales and then I can support people from behind the scenes. Um, four days a week I'm now working with Architectus and BIM Consulting as a BIM and Computation Lead. So the channel developments in the meantime, um, I have picked up a lot of new interests uh, which bring a lot of new topics to the channel. I am definitely moving on from the fundamentals. I'm probably not really going to touch on what might be seen as beginner topics anymore. I think I've laid down a foundation uh, that people can follow uh, to reach the types of topics I'll be covering. I'm definitely going to what I would say are more tricky or niche topics. I've come to realize most of my audience um, does seem to be more comfortable in pursuing more complex topics. That's what my channel is more so known for. Um, so even though I did dwell on beginner topics for a while, um, I think I am just going to go straight back to the nitty gritty stuff. Um, there's going to be more emphasis on coding, uh, written coding specifically in Python and also some computational design because uh, this is sort of an interest area that I have picked up in my own career and I think it's an important one for people working in BIM and computation in the future. Um, the channel format's going to go much more simple, low thrills, um, gives me more, more ability to output videos at a constant pace. Um, the channel itself, the topics are going to focus less on Dynamo and Revit. I will still be using Revit as my BIM platform typically, um, but focusing on interoperability and usually more advanced topics than just using Revit as a modeling software. Um, I will use Dynamo, but typically focusing on more complicated workflows, um, more examples of how you can use it from a practical perspective rather than a fundamental perspective. Um, and whilst I know this will be challenging for some people that may stumble across the channel and think it's beginner topics, um, I'll typically be making people pretty well aware when they're dealing with a non-beginner topic uh, by laying down um, some pre-recommended watching or learning uh, before my videos. Um, I'll be looking at PyRevit a lot more. I've been using a lot of PyRevit lately um, and I'm very comfortable in sharing some workflows and topics around it. Um, and also Grasshopper and Rhino uh, from a computational design perspective, but also from an interoperability perspective with Rhino inside and Ladybug tools. I do have some content in this area, but it hasn't aged well. Um, unfortunately, these programs have come a long way, well, fortunately, but unfortunately, that means my content is quite out of date. So I do look forward to returning um, to these in their latest and greatest iterations. 
There are some changes coming for 2023 um, with my schedule. I'm returning sometime in February of 2023, probably quite early, um, and I will try to keep to weekly uploads probably on a Monday morning at 9 a.m. Uh, Eastern Standard Time. This will vary from time to time, particularly if I'm working on a series of videos, uh, because I would prefer to release my series uh, at the same time, ideally. I felt that my series in the past didn't quite get constant viewership, um, usually part one got much more attention than the rest of the series, um, but I feel if I release them together, um, whilst they will sit as separate videos, having them av available at the same time will mean that someone can go through the whole series when it's released, rather than see one part and then forget about the rest. I will be changing my format. I'm going to be cutting the intro and outro segment where I talk to the camera. Um, whilst it does get uh, you the opportunity to stare at my face a bit more closely, I felt I didn't really get what I wanted to out of those segments. I felt often I was putting them in just because it's what I did. Um, I'm just going to jump straight into slide decks and pitch decks before we jump into tutorials typically. Um, although occasionally there might be discussion focused videos, for example, talking about career journeys. I have got a lot of requests about how to begin a career in BIM, um, which I will be making a video about soon. And the answer probably isn't quite as straightforward as you might think. Um, I'm probably not going to feature too many third party platforms on here uh, that do paid promotion or incentivized promotion. Usually I'd prefer to do this by choice. I found that whilst there is the benefit of sharing things and sometimes their sponsorship, um, the content doesn't typically age very well, especially if these companies don't uh, maintain their pace of development, as a couple of the ones I featured on the channel have, unfortunately. Um, so typically I'll be trying to focus around the platforms I spoke about previously. So in the meantime, uh, before I'm back, of course, and after, you know, have happy holidays and a great new year. Um, I look forward to seeing you all next year um, on the channel. And of course, uh, if you're not aware, I do have a GitHub. I will be putting this at the end of every single video um, where you can download the various resources uh, from the videos I put out. And of course, uh, thank you for watching. You can contact me at this email on the screen, which again, a lot of people don't usually realize as well. And of course, if you have a video request, feel free to email me or leave it in the comments if you're comfortable doing that. Um, I will reply to every single request and comment. Um, I've re responded to every single one on the channel since it started. Um, and of course, let other people know that the channel will be coming back uh, around February, uh, especially if you know that they can benefit from it or if they've been waiting for these videos to come back. I know, I know some of you have been waiting. Um, and of course, feel free to like, comment, share, sub, all that stuff um, to promote the channel and get it back out there, um, given it's been quiet for a little while. Again, I thank everyone for their eagerness and also for their support and requests in my downtime. Um, I really look forward to coming back and sharing some more exciting topics about BIM and computation. So I'll see you in the new year. And as always, thanks. Take care.